C chord is finger three, last string on the third fret, and it will sound like this. Right? Let's play the C chord four times. One, two, off we go. As you strum the chord, make sure you strum all the four strings. Let's do it again. One, two, off we go. Good job. Finger one will be at the second string at the second fret. Finger two will be at the last string at the second fret. Notice that finger one and finger two, they are at the same fret, but they are at different strings. Finger three will be at the third fret third string. Okay. Try to practice this. Okay. Now we will play the G chord. Listen to how it sounds like. Listen again. Now we will play the G chord four times. Ready? One, two, off. We go. Now, can you join me and play the G chord? One, two, off we go. Good job. Now, we are going to learn the A minor chord. The A minor chord uses only finger two. Can you still remember where is finger two? This is the thumb, finger one, finger two, the middle finger. Now you will place finger two at the first string on the second fret. Now listen to the A minor chord. Let's play the A minor chord four times. One, two, off we go. Can you try to play the A minor chord with me? Let's do it. One, two, three, go. Well done. The last chord we are going to revise is the F chord. The F chord uses two fingers, which are your finger one and finger two. Place your finger one on the first fret, third string. Place finger two on the first string on the second fret. Try to practice holding the F chord. Now listen to how the F chord sounds like. Let's play the F chord together. One, two, off we go. <laughs> <laughs> 